Well, I'm here with filmmaker Julie Dash. Now we're going to talk about African-American independent films, and we're going to go through such a broad range from Losing Ground to your film, Daughters of the Dust, to Just Another Girl in the IRT, to Ava DuVernay, Middle of Nowhere. It's just such a cross-section of filmmakers and films and different styles of films. And that's such a wonderful thing because so often we're, you know, like placed in a box or seen as a monolith. Women's films is niche market. African-American films, they want to talk about this, want to talk about that. But we really, there's a broad range of ideas and genres that we're interested in tackling. And so this is a great beginning. So this film, Just Another Girl on the IRT, it, it's a real New York title. Very New York, and I love it because it's kind of a rite of passage growing up in New York to learn how to travel the IRT, the IRD, IND, and the BMT trains on your own. Yes. So this is a great title. And it's a, I, it's kind of a coming of age. It's about a 17-year-old girl, and um, I, I, I knew Leslie Harris when, when she was making this film, and mm -hmm. she, one of the things that she said that you could relate to is that she they said oh we you know can, can you have a male protagonist no it's called <laughs> just want to make a movie about a girl yeah. and then they said you know it'd be a lot easier getting money if you made this as a documentary and something that you faced also absolutely when I was um, making daughters of the dust prior to making it and even after making it people said well why didn't you do a documentary about the sea islands of the south first about mm -hmm. the Gullah Geechee people prior to yeah, yeah. and she mm -hmm. also cites you as being an inspiration for her, which is one of the great things about this project. You know, mm -hmm. we talk about a links in a chain, and yes. she was saying that, you know, she didn't have any role models except for you to, that had made a narrative uh, feature film, and, and she felt alone, you know, yes. much of the, the time mm -hmm. uh, making the film. And it's a personal film, and I think she made it in some ways as a response to Spike Lee and okay. that kind of an urban film, and that, you know, she wanted a different perspective, a mm -hmm. different female voice a different female protagonist yeah spike lee's she's got to have it really opened the door mm -hmm. for quite a few filmmakers including myself and as leslie says with leslie harris yeah. as well um and it was shot on a shoestring budget mm -hmm. um at one point such a shoestring budget <laughs> that they, she was shooting a scene and she was losing the light and there was a commercial <laughs> They felt so bad for her, they actually <laughs> pointed light over <laughs> at her set so she could complete a scene. And uh, I thought that we could talk about that scene after we have seen okay, the Okay, great, but only in New York, right? Only, only in New York. York. But they came to her rescue, and, uh, <laughs> and she, she, you know, she got the film uh, made, and it's a great document of it is. New York City. I think. Yeah, it's a totally different film in, in, in the totally different look at um, a young black woman who's aggressive, articulate, uh, uh, wanting to be a doctor. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's fascinating, um, and it, it was made during the time of uh, what they're calling now the, the 90s, the golden age of new wave of black cinema. So it's. Um, it fits I feel well that. With it. It yeah. was a time in independent cinema in New York where it mm -hmm. did feel very inclusive. Spike Lee was making movies, John mm -hmm. Sayles was making mm -hmm. movies, Nancy Savoca. Yes. Um, you know, everybody on every corner was making movies, and it was a very artistic uh, time, you know, where it did feel like anything was possible. And if you get your movie seen and you get it into Sundance, yeah. Uh, there was there was a lot of hope. Well, it's a great document again of New York in the 90s. So here from 1992, here's the TCM premiere of Leslie Harris's Just Another Girl on the IRT.